Well, I come to several cafes to parallel some news, to go ahead and check what's happening with the world, around the world. At the same time, I also want to know what's going on with the uh, with the youth of Nalim, or I should say, uh, in general. While information technology is more advanced in other parts of the country, Nagaland has a long way to go. Though internet can be accessed to cell phones, we Naga still prefer to visit cyber cafes. Uh, I don't have internet facilities in my phone, so mm -hmm. I come here to browse and to connect with my friends and chat with my friends. So which sites do you use mostly? Facebook. Well, the one thing that uh, the cyber cafe pulls me towards them is that the connectivity, the, the line that we have over the phone, the access, the internet access that we can, is very, very slow in Nadlin. For example, I was staying in Bangalore, and I used to use, through my phone only, for downloading music, everything. But here, if I have to download a song, one single song, it will take me more than 30 minutes to download, which I can't afford to lose my time just for one single song. How has visiting cyber cafes impacted you? There are, there are many of my friends whom I've lost them dates with them. So I'm getting to connect them to Facebook as well. Uh, without internet, it, life would be impossible because it's helping my studies. I think um, it, it, has, it has really impacted my life in uh, ways of education, in ways of uh, how, I, how I live and how I go ahead with my daily chores.